What is up guys? I am Eric and Puzzle Piece. And finally, today is the day Toronto Maple Leafs face off against the Montreal Canadiens. See, I've been waiting for this game because I am a Leafs fan. And you may be asking, why the hell are you wearing an avalanche hat? Well, because it relates to what I'm going to talk about later. And I really loved what I saw this morning when I was taking the transit. There was a guy that was wearing a Leafs jersey. There was a guy that was wearing, I believe, an Oilers hat. And then there was another guy that was wearing, I don't know what it said on the front, but all I know is that it had capitals on the back and the penguins. So I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hockey fans are here. Anyways, before I get started, I still have this challenge up and running from my last couple of videos where you guys must guess the hat. First to guess, and you guys only get one guess, and guess what? Get your one guess here in this video. And I do highly suggest go back to the last video and get everybody else's answers and try to cross off all the wrong ones. Like, again, there were some very good guesses. A couple of those guesses, I would definitely get hats from those teams. But, sorry guys, so far, all incorrect. And like I said, the main hint is they are one of the Stanley Cup champions within the last 20 seasons. And hey, I want one of you guys to win it. All right, good luck. Also, gotta congratulate Austin Matthews for getting the Rocket Richard Trophy. Hey, that's honestly quite an achievement. That's, it's amazing. Congrats to Matthews. Oh, and also, funny thing. Apparently the mayors of Toronto and Montreal have a little for fun bet. Whoever, and they're saying, whoever wins their series, the other has to put the NHL, the other's NHL team flag up at their city halls. If Leafs win, then Montreal has to put the Leaf flag up. If the Habs win, then Toronto has to put the Habs flag up. Yeah, such a for fun bet. But seriously, Leafs, please win. So anyways, it's been like pretty much one week. It's been pretty, it's still pretty much the first week of the NHL playoffs. And holy cow, it's getting so heated. Yeah, the Battle of Florida is getting pretty heated, but there's actually two series that I find are the most heated at this moment. Bruins and the Capitals. They're just going at each other, I swear. Like the Capitals are ch are checking the Bruins over boards twice that I've seen. Uh, Tuka Rask is punching the crap out of a Capitals player. Love it. <laughs> but also, it seems like the Capitals are kind of fighting themselves after last night's overtime loss. Ovechkin is screaming. He's yelling at his teammate because of a sloppy play. And I'm kind of curious, who the heck is Ovi yelling at? Because I, I, I don't see who he's yelling at, but, uh, but honestly, uh, and also, who do you blame? The goalie dropped the puck and left it there? While I believe it's Schultz didn't go after the puck, even though I think he was the one that was ahead of uh, Smith. So it's like, really, who do you blame on that? Comment down below who you blame. And the second series that I find is the most heated. And I didn't think this one was going to get too, too heated. So this one actually came as a little bit of a shocker to me. Avalanche versus the St. Louis Blues. It pretty much started off with a fight between Landeskog and Shen. And then there was a fight at the end of, I, I believe, that same game where Graves and Bertuzzo have both had the looks on their faces where it's like, oh, did we start the fight? Did it work? Oh, and then you have Belmare slipping in funny fashion. But another thing that has fueled this fire, which is also my hockey piece for the day, is Kadri doing a headshot. Okay, so the Avalanche, they were up, I believe, 2 nothing at this time. And Kadri just comes out of nowhere and knocks Justin Falk out. 
Like, what the folk, man? Like, don't get me wrong, I love Kadri. He was on the Leafs. I loved him back then. But there is practically no reason for him to do this at all. So he hits Justin in the head, knocks him out cold, and then he's kicked out of the game. But now the question is, how long is he going to be suspended for? Because this definitely was a headshot. You, everyone knows this is going to definitely be a suspension and possibly a fine. But the question is, is how long? And considering this isn't his first offense, as I recall, I believe it was back in 2019, he did a cross-check to, De, uh, to DeBrusque. Brutal cross-check, but, but back then he was just trying to defend Patrick Marlowe. This time, there was like basically no damn reason for him to even do this kind of a headshot. Especially because he already has a history of, um, of suspensions. Why the heck did he risk this? Don't get me wrong, Avalanche, I think, they, I think they got it covered without him. But if Kadri really wanted to play, why'd he do it? All I know is that I, f I feel like Kadri, he, he gets really overheated during the playoffs. And it becomes way too much. So, apparently Kadri is going to be having, having an in-person Zoom meeting, hearing, to see how long he's going to be suspended for. I definitely say he's probably going to be suspended for the rest of the series, but who knows, could be more. Anyways, Puzzle Pieces, again, that challenge, that game of mine is still up for grabs. I want one of you to win, so please take a wild guess, and uh, hopefully you're the winner. So, Puzzle Pieces, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and stay connected, Puzzle Pieces. Have yourselves a good one.